Hello everyone, my name is Vert and I am finally back with a tutorial, a real tutorial, after the longest time. Uh, 1.3 has just recently come out and one of my favorite new features has been the ice harvesting with Silk Touch. Now, the thing about uh, the re-edition of that feature is that now when you break ice, it's just like in creative mode where the ice disappears. So eventually, you would run out of water in a world if, well, in the freezy biomes if you just harvest it all with silk touch. So, that obviously means that you need an ice generator. So I've gone ahead and created the smallest ice generator that I have ever seen. I cannot find anything smaller than this anywhere. It's five by four, and depending on whether you count the blocks that these redstones are on, one uh, I fell. One, two, three, four. Now this block doesn't count because it's unnecessary after you've created one block of ice. Actually, you don't even need to put it there. I'll show you in the tutorial why you don't. But, um, yep, s world's smallest ice generator. It's very, very, very resource friendly and you can build it in uh, just a minute. In fact, I might do a 60 seconds tutorial. So, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial right over there. Now, normally I prefer layer by layer tutorials, but this is so simple that I'm just going to do block by block. First we figure out which way we want the ice to go. In our case we want it to go this way. So we'll place a block right here and because it's going that way, two blocks on that side and one on the other side. Then replace that. Torch, repeater, redstone. Next to the redstone you're going to put another block. Torch on there, block on there, torch on there, block, 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 and a block. Next you'll place two redstone you place a repeater on two and a repeater on three. Next, all you need is the piston, regular piston here and there, and then a sticky piston right here facing downward. Now, all that's left to do is the glass. You want to put a glass block here, which is going to be removed in the future. But after you place the glass, all that's left to do... Whoop, my mouse went crazy. Place the water. And that is done. Now, you are going to want to test this, so you just put a nice block in there, or any block really, and at this point you can break that block. But uh, once this starts creating ice, this block will be protected. You can look to other videos for how to compress this into a big cube. Everyone's going to want to do it a different way, so I'm not going to do it in this video, but uh, you can check out one of Doc M's videos. There's plenty of tutorials out there, and so uh, I will direct you to those people. But that's the tutorial, guys. That's all there is to it. Uh, world's smallest ice generator design. If you're going to be harvesting in a straight line here, though, not compressing this into a fancy block, just put a block here just to be safe, because it would be terrible to have that freeze. That would be annoying. But for general use, it's okay to just have the ice blocks above this. Anyways, goodbye, guys. I've still got some more awesome tutorials in the works, just waiting to be tutorialed. <laughs> so uh, I will see you next time. Goodbye.